It's amazing how petty some cruise companies can be. They decided they'd save money by just cancelling the chocolate every night. You know, who would notice? Well, the only topic of conversation on the entire cruise was where are the chocolates? We've always had them on past cruises. Now, this one was going to cross the equator. And the cruise director said, would I play the part of Neptune? And I said, of course I'm a bloody scientist. And they said, but the, the passengers would love it, and we'd love it, and you do a lot of television. And we said, I said, okay, I'll do it. So I had a, um, a great grey wig and a long green robe and a trident. And they gave me a script in rhyming doggerel, which was hopeless because on the after deck, ship was going fast, wind was blowing, so it, it blew away in minutes. So I had to sort of improvise and I made up my rhyming doggerel. And then I suddenly realised as the ceremony was ending that I had an ideal chance to campaign on the part of the passengers. So what did I say? Something like, um, and so we set sail across the fine Spanish main. And one single question remains in every passenger's brain. As this fine ship across the sea billows, where's the bloody chocolate every night upon our pillows? <laughs> it had 600 passengers, all clapping and cheering as they streamed in the air and heaven. The chocolates came back that night. And the last time I heard, they've been there ever since.